Rescue crews pulled several boaters from the Everglades today. They were stranded overnight in the water, exhausted, dehydrated. CBS 4's Donna Rapato has more on the rescue effort from West Broward. Sunday afternoon, Broward Sheriff's Fire Rescue learned three airboats like this one were stranded somewhere in the Everglades since the night before. First one airboat ran aground, then another airboat got stranded coming to the rescue, and yet a third airboat ran out of gas looking for the other two. Paramedics checked on all eight boaters once air rescue left them along I-75. All of them okay, but tired, dehydrated, and hungry. How did you? Rough. Very rough. I want air conditioning, I want a bed, I want food, you know, a shower. All that good stuff. A fire rescue spokesman says finding these airboaters stranded out in three different locations in the Everglades took a lot of coordination, likening it to looking for a needle in a haystack. And there are recreational airboaters out there as well. So uh, you have to identify the stranded airboaters versus the ones that are out there, uh, just out there for recreation. So um, it was a process. <laughs> Friends started to worry when they didn't hear back from Jesse Stewart several hours after leaving to rescue the others. We were very afraid at that point because it's 107 degrees out there and we were desperately looking for him. But Stewart took it all in stride. It's not his first time stranded in the vast Everglades. Why not? I grew up in the woods. I like being in the woods. For me, it's peaceful. I mean, I've been stuck before, but I ain't never been stranded. So that, you know, when you push 10 feet and then you get stuck and then you push another 10 feet and you know, you're running out of energy. It's not fun. In Broward County, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight.